Howdy folks, Jim here, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Mist Reliant. I think a lot of people were let down during the Q&A, so I wanted to give my take on this ship and where I think it's probably headed. Spoiler alert! I think it could still be a great ship. But before I give my two cents, I've read all 20 pages of the Q&A submission thread and picked out the unanswered questions I felt should have been answered by the devs. And I'll answer them. Let's get started on those. Captain Wickstrom wanted to know, Could I equip a mining laser on either wing and then spin around cutting holes in asteroids? I suppose you could, but why would you want to ruin a classic arcade cabinet? Eurek Ironcell asked, Is there any way to add a second ball turret? Perhaps on the military version? Yes, there is. I made a video on it. And Grippies asked, Seeing as the Reliant looks so much like a moth, if we flew too close to a star, would our ship just go to autopilot and fly into it? Absolutely. That's exactly why it's been classified as a short-range hauler. Sourpuss wanted to know, if the Reliant was a cat, what kind of cat would it be? And the answer is simple. A vertical fuselage cat. And 1305 says, Is the cargo hold large enough to use as a practice room for the band? And can the ship's power plant handle the amplifiers? Yes, but only if your band is very short. And if the power plant can handle the amplifiers, then your amps aren't big enough, man. And Yoto wanted to know, can we get all three starter ships and put them together, e.g. Power Rangers, to get an ultra-powerful ship? If not, why not? And the answer is, absolutely not, because a Megazord in Star Citizen would be ridiculous. And, because we have the consolidated Outland Voltron and the MISC Constructicon lines slated for a concept sale in late July. Quasari asks, is it possible to just rotate the seats and fly like that? No, for three reasons. Because that'd be too easy. Because where were you six months ago? And because of the next question. Jidsquane asks, Let's say you load up with cargo on any planet with normal gravity. Let's say the cargo is pretty fragile. Oh, I don't know, crates of fine china or thousands of beakers of bull sperm for an agricultural breeding company. Then you take off. Then you rotate from horizontal to vertical and all the cargo falls to the bottom of the ship, and in my latter example, ick. Answer? Why? Just why? People like you are the reason agriculture is not a planned career path in Star Citizen. Judas Iscariot asks, Could we use the researcher variant as a small-scale narcotics lab? I'm pretty sure they meant environmental research, not chemical research. And even if it was possible, I'm pretty sure the difficulty will lay in smuggling it to your buyers, not finding a remote location somewhere in the unfathomably vast depths of deep space to process it. If you're looking for a way to make a quick buck with disgusting cargo, try agriculture. Kamika's one wanted to know, If it fits, will the co-pilot be able to launch a P-52 from the cargo hold of the Reliant? And of course, yes! It's just like launching a Harley Davidson from the trunk of a Honda Civic. Awesome, but impractical. Iridium Drake asks, With the Reliant wing slash cockpit set in horizontal mode, if we yaw really, really fast, do we get a special boomerang attack? Ha! <laughs> you do now! As Draggle wondered, will it have a berth? <sighs> okay, here we go. It's probably good that we get this out of the way now, as you are clearly confused. When a mommy and a daddy really love each other and spend lots of time together, sometimes they can make a baby. When this happens, the mommy gets a big tummy and begins to maneuver like a starfarer. Pretty soon, she goes to the doctor, who calls the stork to say it's time to jam a baby under a head of cabbage. This process is called birth. A spaceship is not a baby. So no, it will not have a birth. You can tell because spaceships don't have belly buttons. Okay, except for that one. Nope Nope asked, can the captain rotate the co-pilot seat for fun? Can you change the second seat for a slushy maker? Will the slushy maker be sized one or two? If we don't like slushy, can we install a martini shaker instead and mix our martini there? World is shaken. 
The answer is, of course, yes, yes, size 1 comes standard, but you get a size 2 on the slushy variant, no, because flying while intoxicated is prohibited by UEE law, and given the function of the ship, I think that would be obvious. Unless you hit some heavy space turbulence, then it could totally be shaken. Lastly, we have a question from some idiot named Jim. He asks, You've said that the Reliant will not be able to go through the smallest jump points like other ships in its class because of the giant wing design, and that it may have trouble using jump points that a much bigger ship like a Freelancer or even a Constellation might fit through. So, my question is, if you come across a small jump point, can you fly through it sideways? Thank you for your time. Answer? What an excellent question! You must be an exceedingly polite, clever, and handsome individual. Also, your YouTube videos are second to none. Oh, 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 and don't forget to take out the trash tonight. You missed the pickup last week, and if you miss it tomorrow, you'll have to make your wife drive it to work a bag at a time and sneak it into the box crusher again. I hope this answers your question. I know these questions were quite a bit of silliness, but I think the thing we need to remember is that Cloud Imperium Games is all about balance. You're going to find that this matches the price point and the flavor text more than anybody's ideal of what a really cool ship is by the time we're done with it. Things I would look out for include extreme sturdiness, which was also mentioned in the flavor text, and some more really cool variants. That news van thing really threw me for a loop, and I think there's more in store for us with this one. So, thank you guys all very much for watching, and don't count out the Misk Reliant just yet. I'll see you next time. Hmm. Oh, I stand corrected. It appears that a starship can give birth. Amyoto asks, Can we get all three starter ships and put them together, e.g. Power Rangers, to get an ultra-powerful ship? If not, why not? Answer? No, because there's a small but significant chance that a game so awesome would rend the cosmos asunder opening the outer gates and allowing outsiders to flood into our dimension. These void beasts will destroy reality as we know it. Physical, moral, federal, state, and local laws will cease to function. Chaos will reign. Black will turn white. Up will be down and people will die in droves at the next zebra crossing. Most importantly, all of this will serve as a distraction that weakens the vigilance of the ethereal sentinel that binds Keratop's powers and prevents his return to fame. Prop comedy will clash with the powers of his immortal enemies, the newly freed outsiders, in an apocalyptic battle that destroys space-time! We all love the idea of a Star Citizen Megazord, but it's not worth the risk.